Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will start a new tutorials of UGIS from beginners to advanced level. So in this tutorial, you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on UGIS. So basically QGIS is a totally free and open source software and using this software we can efficient using QGIS or quantum geographic information system. So today is our first tutorial on QGIS. So I will uh, publish all of those tutorial from beginners to advanced level on QGIS. So today I will show you that how we can easily download the QGIS and install in our system. So all of those things I will show you. So let's go. So first of all, I just simply open my browser and I simply search on the Google QGIS. I simply search. So now it open a link about that you can see welcome to the QGIS project. So simply click on here. So here you can get the latest version of QGIS now is available for the 3.32 Lima has been released. Okay, so it's the real uh, latest version on QGIS. So just we simply click on here. And then here you can see the result about that download the QGIS 3.32. So basically this is the latest version and we are also get the another thing is that you can see long term release version. Okay, so mainly you can see looking for the most stable version. This is the most stable version is that QGS 3.28 LTR long term release version. So basically in this time I just show you the long term release version because this version is now very uh, all of those plugin all of those things we can easily access from here so that's why i simply use the use the long term release version okay so just i simply click on here and actually it's a stable version okay and it's now update the release version and it's a stable version so i want to use here the stable version so just i simply click on the get qjs 3.28 so click on here here you can see the it already started the downloading option you can see it is start the downloading so here i already downloaded this software so for that i sim simply skip this part okay so here you can i already installed the software is that qgis 3.28.11 so this is my stable version for long term release so now i just simply click on here here you can see this is my software I already installed it. I already downloaded this software. So now simply click on here and then I simply um, open it. Okay. So now I show you that how we can easily install the QGIS this version on our system. So now I just simply click the open. And now you can see it preparing the installation about that. And simply click on the next. Here you can see all of those things license QGIS. Okay, so all of those license overview. I just simply I accept these terms in the license agreement. Click on the next. So now I want to install it in my C folder in my drive, C drive. Create the desktop shortcut and create the short menu shortcut so then click to the next start and you can see finally install so click on the install button so now it takes some time to install the qgis 3.28.11 latest long-term release version so it takes some time to install after installing that i will show you the how we can easily open the software
Jadi kau baik yes. Okay, so it's showing the problem is not enough disk space to install this file. Okay, so for that, just simply remove some file from my C drive.
Okay, so now you can see the result. It is a complete the QJS 3.28.11. The test long term release version is installed it successfully. So now finish that. So now I want to check about this software is installed or not. Simply click on the search from your tab and then simply search here QGIS. Okay, so we can get that you can see QJS desktop. You find this the version I install it. So now I simply open that and try to show you the interface. Okay, so now even you can see long term release version 3.28. Okay, so now we are usually use this software and do for the different types of geospatial analysis. So now it's opening. Okay, so now you can see we can get this the user interface about that. Okay, so now we are easily use this user interface, and then we can easily use a lot of remote sensing or geographic information analysis using this software. Okay, so for the next tutorial, I'll also try to discuss about that other topic for other advanced topic how we can easily work with QGIS software. So in the meantime, you just try to install and download and install this QJ software in your system. Okay. And then when I start the advanced training on the QJS, you also you can also practice with me. Okay. And for getting all of those update information, you can simply join in my Telegram group as well as you can also join my WhatsApp group. So when I publish any uh, new video about this, you can easily get the notification from this Telegram group or QG uh, or WhatsApp group. Okay. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that.